Hey YouTube, Rambo here, one half of the Brantley Boys. It's just gonna be me today in this video, y'all. Got a couple good things to open. Something small, but definitely packs a punch. We got the Raichu GX10 from Hidden Fates. We've got the Unbroken Bonds Build and Battle, which is pretty much the pre-release. Uh, it comes with a deck inside as well as four packs. But stay tuned, guys. This hopefully will be a banger. guys so as mentioned i'm gonna jump right on in i've got the right gx10 from hidden fates this actually is the second print run i've got a couple cases of these so i uh, don't mind kind of jumping in at least opening one of them and then on the flip side over here we got a little bit of sun and moon unbroken bonds these booster boxes are going for like 300 dollars now which is crazy i've seen them posted for over 400 I really don't think it's a stretch to say it'll hit $400 within the next couple months. That's just a, 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 an estimate. Who knows? Definitely not predicting that um, to be like a set in stone thing, obviously. But yeah, once once a uh, once a set goes out of print and it has some really fire cards, especially cards that are hard to grade a 10 in, it tends to shoot up. So couldn't drop right on in, y'all. And I saw recently TCA got a. Uh, got some of the, or got one of these graded I um, can't remember what set it was but that's a nice one I honestly had no idea what the uh, what all four of the options were was it four right let me actually go back and see so a 23 card evolution pack including one of four unique foil promo cards four Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds booster packs and a code card for the TCG online game so I'll be honest with you, I was actually cracking these open and, and grading on many of the pre-releases, but I may just try to grade this one as a pack since they're doing that now and they've, they've kind of got a PSA is what I'm speaking about. They've kind of got a nice setup going, so definitely just going to go ahead and grade that as a pack. Hopefully we get the restroom Charizard. I'll take any of the arts. Um, hopefully get the rainbow rare, but kind of got lucky and, and hit that recently off camera. Maybe I'll be able to get this one on camera, but definitely a banger set i'm gonna jump right into this pack because this one looks kind of beat up but we've got a little seal behind on there of course hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well um just gonna go with the card view on this one trying to trying to get a little bit better at editing myself so there's the code okay three is this three i'm gonna go with with three actually hold on it is four okay take that back so this is four All right togetic fairy charm crabby riolu esper porygon darumaka squirtle and victory bell yep nice reverse squirtle yeah the cut's not the best centering's pretty decent Hopefully, I get something good out of this little build and battle. I'm going to save the Charizard for last and the champ. Okay. Jump right on in. Pack number two, y'all. And I really do have a feeling that these build and battle decks, um, the pre-releases, they tend to have insane pulls. And I feel like it's like that because they kind of want to get you in, you know. They want you to hit the ground running. They want you to pull some banger cards. So that way you stick around keep buying. But... That's, that's my that's always been my opinion on these first print run typically because they are the pre-release building battle which is also a plus you want that first print run all right stack attack this one's actually for a hollow this is to me this has been my most commonly pulled hollow from the set which not complaining kind of take for granted the way the cards look right now and then years later you look back on it and you're like yeah wow Sure didn't miss that art, you know, sure didn't miss the hollow pattern. I don't know if I'll say that about the hollow pattern, but I feel like as time goes on, you kind of end up missing the former sets. Alright. Got energy, crook rock, we got graveler, hit mine top, sand dial, oddish. Wow, that looks like an old E-series art, to be honest with you. Some little hacky set. Zubat, coughing. So Duo, Sandshrew, and Stunfisk. A regular, a regular rare. Okay, y'all. So, so far, you know, 
Nothing major, nothing, you know, set. Just a one hollow. One out of three, which is the standard odds. Hopefully I can break the, you know, the ratio here and there's your code card and, and pull something crazy. That'd be nice to get a rainbow rare of anything, really. Got gold grass energy. So Frogadier, Welder, Caterpie, Cottony, Ekans, Carvana, Litton, Cleffa, and oh wow, okay. So yeah, changed my mind on this one. This has definitely been a banger. So we got Janine, and I do have, put this down, I do have some sleeves over here always, which surprisingly, I'm actually kind of low on these. I know Rob, oh, the other half of the channel, TK, I know he's probably got maybe a couple thousand. I have to snag a bag off of them, they're cheap. But yeah, Janine, that is, that is awesome. Too bad I didn't already have this one in the collection before I sent my grade or cards to get graded. But this one's so beat up on the back. It's really not gonna be worth grading. Probably not, who knows? I might still grade it anyway. Probably gonna get an eight, maybe a nine. I'll be happy with a nine on that one. Fleffa, kind of a throwback to the baby Pokemon back in the day. All right, I'm happy with that one. Definitely happy. Condition, eh, could be better, but Having the cards in hand is, is still nice, even though the condition's not there. Obviously, you want PSA 10 quality. Can't always get it out of an open and sealed product, though, as we all know. All right. It's got the Raichu GX, which a lot of these were kind of thrown to the side, as in, you know, they're not that popular because there's a ton of them. Every 10 you get, you get one. But if you can get a 10 with these, like a PSA 10 grade, which this one's kind of beat up. Um, these go for like 30 to 40, believe it or not. I set it to the side, definitely not grading that one. I sent, I sent quite a few in to get graded. There's the code, but you can see they're just shoved into the tins. Thought the first go around was actually a little bit better. Okay, let's see what packs we got in this one, y'all. All right, so we got the bird, we got everything. One of each, Charizard, Mewtwo, Mew, and the birds. So I'm gonna jump right on in and kind of work, work, uh, work my way up. Even though I've had tons of good pulls with, with the three legendary birds. All right, there's that code, y'all. One, two, three, four. And then to get the shiny to the back, if it perhaps is one, we'll switch on the last one. So we got water, water energy, Metapod, Sabrina's Suggestion. Charmeleon, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, a Hollow Vaporeon, which I feel like a lot of these are kind of underrated. I mean, just talk junk a little bit about it earlier about the Hollow pattern, but these are overshadowed like crazy by the shinies. All right, and we got the Metal Energy. So I'm gonna set this to the side. I always set my rares, uh, hollows, and reverses in Hidden Fates to a different stack. So I've kind of got my bulk stack. So, so we're going Mew next. I'm still searching for that Charizard, y'all. Rob's got five. Um, I want to say he pulled like three of them off camera, I believe. But I'm still searching for my first one, y'all. And I'm kind of running towards the end of all my products. So I'm to that point where I don't know if I want to break into it and kind of just give up that, that future nostalgia. Because this set is... Even though it's getting printed again as of, you know, the recording of this video, um, it's still going to be hard to get, y'all. It's not going to be mass produced. Electrode and Zerka Tree, which surprisingly, I only got one of these, I believe. Um, definitely sleeping that up. Only got one of these out of opening that's thousands of packs. So, and it's with PSA right now. So, centering... It looks pretty good, I'll be honest with you. It looks slightly thicker up top on the blue edge there. Maybe, maybe not. What do you think? I think it, it, it's definitely 10 quality though. I'm being super thick. It's a little bit slid to the left on the front. You can tell the thickness. But I'm cool with that. Perfectly happy with it. Never complain to get a shiny, especially second and, and needing now third print run. Don't know how the pulls will be because it's not out yet, but they, they drop drastically. Which is good as a collector, not good if you're continuing to open things. But 
I'm okay with it. Cause I mean, it drives the price up of already graded cards and uh, they're that much harder, which I don't know if it's a real ratio. I mean, that's kind of just what I've experienced, but it drives the price up. It makes all your other ones more valuable, you know, scarcer, makes more money. Um, it's not what it's all about, but it definitely helps to have that. All right, got a nice Gyarados GX, which centering is really good. Oh, ho, oh, oh, GX. First time I've ever pulled this. Holy cow. Okay, I, I really should probably take back that comment I said about second print run not producing any bangers. Um, wow, that's that's the one I wanted. First time I've ever pulled it. I'd love to be able to get a 10, y'all. Centering is kind of funky, I'll be honest with you. It's a little bit shifted. It's not so much shifted one way um, as it is almost just kind of tilted but you'll see there's more thickness up here than it is over here I think if a grader kind of rolled through it he probably would give it he or she would probably give it a 10 um, be pretty disappointed if it got a 9 though but it's a solid card even that Gyarados GX it's not the promo version so it's definitely a lot rarer it's still not a rare card though I mean in terms of actual rarity not so much the card label being a rare but alright one last pack, y'all. So we're going with the Charizard. So far, this tin has produced a ton. If I don't get anything in this pack, I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly happy with, with all the pulls. Hopefully that turns out to be something nice for y'all. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Fighting Energy. Chansey, one of my favorites. Graveler. Farfetch. Clefairy. Psyduck. Magikarp, Star U, Goltor, Erica's Hospitality, and Re a Reverse Jinx. Alright, so just a little recap. Um, starting at the beginning, opening up that Unbroken Vines, uh, building battle pre release, ended up getting this nice Persian, which I mentioned earlier, I will be grading this as a pack. So it's going to cost a little bit more to grade, but it'd be really cool. Something unique. I don't have something like that in my collection quite yet. Got the Jared, or excuse me, the Gyarados GX. The GX, uh, not the promo version. Um, got the Ho-Oh, which is to me probably the banger of the of the, uh, the banger pool of the whole entire opening. Uh, Zerka Tree. Um, yeah, I don't know why I included these in here. These are just kind of rare reverses. Uh, Janine. Got Unbroken Bonds. Nice full art. And yeah, gonna put these on the side. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, feel free to hit that like button. Let us know, comment below what you'd like to see open. Uh, we've kind of going, been going back and forth between some vintage, um, some newer stuff, but I've got some things kind of coming up in my mind that I've, I've had for just a bit. They're pretty new. Maybe some Japanese, maybe some English, but uh, until next time, guys, my name's Corey, AKA Rambo. Here with myself tonight only, Rob, AKA TK, is on a little bit of a vacation. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.